Have you ever felt like slapping someone at work for how they spoke to you? If you have, it means you understand how rude people operate. Someone can even literally shove you in the hallway because they're in a hurry. What rude people can or may do is better left to one's imaginations. We don't like being around people, but sometimes they are co-workers. How then do you deal with them? In this video, I will share with you some tips on how to deal with rude people. 1. Try to understand the situation. More often than not, people react to things that are bothering them inside than they do to things bothering them outside. If a man has a flat tire, unless he's in a hurry to get to work, it may not bother him much. He may even enjoy the process if he allows himself to. However, if he's in a hurry, he's more likely to be stressed out about the apprehension of being late than the fact of the flat tire itself. We are truly fascinating creatures. If a person who is usually calm and cheerful just comes into work one day and starts yelling, the first instinct shouldn't be to judge but to understand. While being in pains or problems ordinarily should not excuse anyone's bad behavior, we are all dealing with daily troubles the best way we can. People can sometimes feel overwhelmed. Try to put yourself in the person's shoe. Does anyone really come in on a Monday morning looking to pick a fight? What type of person would that really be? If the person has never exhibited this type of behavior, there is usually no reason to judge them based on their worst action. If everyone knew the things that were your secret, would they like you? If the answer is no, why judge others? 2. Be patient. Rude people can get on your nerves, distract you from a presentation and even spill coffee on you without apologizing. If it's the first time and the person is in a hurry, they probably don't even know. It's quite typical in today's society for people to move on the streets with their eyes glued to their screens. Where this is commonplace, bumping into people is going to be pretty normal. If you like your personal space and all, try being patient with such people. They probably don't mean you any harm. Even if someone eavesdrops on a conversation, still give them the benefit of the doubt. People do stupid things all the time. Sometimes all they need to bounce back is not to have anyone call them out on their behavior. They have stuff they're dealing with. It is apt to know that this doesn't apply to all rude people. There are people whose behavior has to be confronted immediately. A typical example is someone who takes other people's food and item without permission. It is a very intrusive and rude behavior that should not be taken lightly. 3. Try helping. If it is your friend who suddenly starts acting rude, try being with them. They are probably feeling a sense of loss. When we lose something valuable, we feel like the other things still in our lives don't mean much. We therefore tilt towards self-destruction. There is actually no new emotion that is surfacing for the first time in this world. Perhaps some of them can now be expressed in words, but they have each been felt by someone else. Have you ever been rude to someone? Try to remember. If yes, can you recall why? We need to be willing to understand others before we can help. Resist the urge to simply tell of someone who has just been rude. If the person is your friend, there is probably something going on they are not telling you about. Helping is actually easier said than done. Sometimes the rude person's action can be so frustrating, the last thing on your mind is helping. If they are your friend, try being there for them. They might end up hurting more people if you don't. Try to listen to them. Sometimes all they need to know is that there are people who actually care about them. 4. Let the person be. Sometimes the best approach is to let the person be. Sometimes people who are rude to you do not want to be spoken to. If you are tempted, they might just be ruder to you. It is often better to let them be. People are typical to be left alone when they are drunk or in a particularly delirious state. It may be someone who got fired, throwing a tantrum, and making everyone uncomfortable. It can even be someone who just lost a big client, fuming over how much effort went into trying to close the deal. The possibilities are numerous. People need space. If they are venting their anger and everything else because of something you don't know about, it's best to just let them be. Have you ever called a friend who couldn't wait to get off the phone? When you didn't, what did they do? The chances are that they said something rude. People can only take so many emotional problems. When they get to their limit, they snap. Don't push people. Let them be. Sometimes they just want to be alone. If you're a good friend, understand that they are passing through something they're not ready to discuss yet and just let them be. 5. Don't be rude to others. If you don't like anything, don't do it to others. It's not fair. Nobody likes people being rude to them. When you're never rude to a person, even if they are rude to everyone else, they can just avoid you during the period. Have you ever found yourself heading to the bathroom and had someone in a hurry literally shove you to the side? Or a boss made a joke about your glasses in front of colleagues? Some people have quit their job because of toxic nature of the place. People who don't respect you don't deserve working with you. Respect is actually earned. 
If you hold your ground and walk away from all situations of discomfort, even if you eventually quit the job because you can't deal, some of the employees there will always respect you. Again, it is unlikely that everyone in the office is rude. So, the others who observed how you dealt with the rude people at work will always respect you. 6. Don't be judgmental. Never rush into reaction when someone has just been rude to you. If you look around, you might see everyone watching him. He probably just got fired. Everyone understands reactions when they can understand the context. Getting fired or scolded for doing a bad job doesn't excuse you from being polite, but it at least explains your behavior. The world is a tough place to feel alone. Try not to judge others too harshly for their behavior. No one should be judged by their worst behavior. 7. Confront the person's behavior. If a person who had just been rude to you is your friend, confront their behavior immediately. You cannot have your friends disrespect you just because they are having a bad day. You owe it to them to tell them the truth. If it is the first time, you can let it slide. But if it isn't, don't do it. Tell them you are very unhappy with what they just did and that you would not want it to repeat itself. An example can be someone using your phone without telling you simply because you have given him access before. 8. Try humor if the person is just having a bad day. You can crack a joke to lighten the atmosphere when someone just eats something really rude. Little things like stretching your hands across someone's food, sneezing without a hanky, and farting in public are all considered rude. Sometimes people are just rude because they're having a bad day. If you can tell, try lightening their mood with some humor. 9. Avoid the rude person. A good strategy is to avoid the person altogether. This is crucial if the rude person's behavior interferes with your peace and you have to put up with it. If it's a coworker, you can ask to switch desk with someone else. 10. Walk away. Many stupid things happen when we don't walk away from unpleasant situations. Someone who just got fired and is rude to you on his way out has nothing else to lose. If you get into a fight with them, you might end up getting fired too. There is no point confronting such people unless they are your friends.